Hey guys, Pablo with BND Gaming and today we'll be talking about Anarchy Online from Funcon that has just released their new 2019 server a few months ago to commemorate their 18th birthday. They have also released a new updated game engine with enhanced graphics still on playable beta testing. You have the option to create a free-to-play or premium membership upgrade account. With your free account, you can get Anarchy Online Basic Game plus a Noton Wars Booster Pack, but with the upgraded account, you can also get all the expansions from the game. Now, how does the classic engine compare to the beta? Well, while the beta version has clearly better graphics, I didn't really see much of a great improvement to excuse for the lag and other issues. To be honest, I really didn't mind playing with the old graphics at all. The game was just as fun as I remember, even if a lot more empty, and while I know that the engine is still on beta, I much rather play without lagging or crashes. I also found a lot of veteran players in the game that are coming back after 10 years or so, and it was kind of interesting to see people that still remember the game with the blue character creation screen. Now that I have sang the praises for the game, let's see what's wrong with it. One of the major issues of the game is population fluctuation. So for many years now, the game has seen a huge fluctuation of population. What depending on when you decide to join the game, you may feel as alone as Will Smith in a post-apocalyptic New York City. By the time Anarchy Online launched Nautilus Wars, Funcon reported over 700,000 active subscriptions, and their first expansion, Shadowlands, added 400,000 more. So, what went wrong? Well, a lot. While people still had fun with the game, there were a lot of problems like server, billing accounts, and customer service issues. Plus, as time went by, no major updates happened to the graphics side. And of course, market saturation. So as many games before then, in 2004, Anarchy Online went free to play. The way they achieved it was by selling in-game ads, and also having premium memberships and in-game stores. And have I mentioned that if you go from a free to play account to an upgrade membership, you cannot reverse it, and after 3 months of cancellation, Funcon can delete your account? That has frustrated many returning players, and is probably one of the reasons why there has been so much fluctuation in the game. So, should I even bother trying it out or going back to the game? Well, the short answer is... yeah! You see, even with all the issues, the game still felt fun. And I'll be honest, I know the graphics are not the best graphics in the market, but to be honest, this game pretty much runs in broken dreams and lost hope in myself. I mean, this game was made to run a Pentium 4, so computers nowadays have no problems. The other thing I love the game, and that's something I found out by talking to a lot of the other players, is um, the community on the game is pretty helpful. I mean, sure, you wish you had more players in the game, and by what I heard and saw, the 2019 server that you can only play if you have the upgraded membership, the graphics are better, and they have a much higher community, they have a lot more players in the game, but if you're just gonna try the game and if you don't know if you're gonna stick around, I mean, go for the free-to-play Rubica server. It's a lot of fun, uh, they had added a lot of things in the game, um, for example, Division 9 now can be bought in the stores, it's not called Division 9, it's just a plasma projector, but it's still fun, they have a new type of armor that is kind of a newbie armor, it's a new player's armor that it levels with you, it's pretty inexpensive, they have some of the older armors that had to be built that you can also buy in the store. Um, so yeah, I'll be honest, I came back to the game uh, for a few days and I've been having a lot of fun, just like I had years ago. And now the best thing too is, people are on vacation, so there's a lot of increase on new players, in the most in the regular server, the free server, so yeah, that's probably the best time to try it out and who knows, some people may even stick around if they see a good amount of players. 
And by the way guys, within the week I'm gonna be releasing a couple of guides for new players and veteran returning players um, of the new things in the game, how to actually start the game because um, the island's gone, the backyard's gone, so there's some uh, a couple of things, I, I don't know so much if they're improvements, but there are some new things in the game that I had to figure out. So I'll be posting some guides, um, not like some people put a guide that it takes about 2 hours to get to level 10 because they pretty much run the whole game through. I'll be cutting the not so important parts like fighting in general. So I'll just be showing the basic stuff you guys need to do. Um, I may also come out with uh, some profession guides and everything. I'll try to keep them short and pretty much for you to level up to level 60 plus, maybe even 100. So just let me know what you guys think. If you guys plan to return, leave the comments below. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a like. I hope you guys have a great vacation. And if you're not in vacation, have a great day. And I'll be seeing you guys this week. Take care.